Now, as far as making soft bait dredges, I hands down prefer the Offshore Innovations Titanium Collapsible Dredge Bar. Uh, we do, at Hoagie, we do a lot of center console fishing, and having this bar collapse is a huge asset as far as storage is concerned. Now, to assemble this bar, I far prefer to keep this bar collapsed. It makes rigging a lot easier. Now my first step is going to be to attach soft bait keepers to all the swivels on the bar. For trolling, I prefer the Hoagie XXL keepers. They're a little bit longer and that's going to mean that they'll have extra gripping power on the soft bait. You'll be trolling these dredge bars hard and trolling them all day, so you really want to be confident that your soft bait is going to stay on there. Now the Hoagie bait keepers all come with an open eye. So it's really as simple as closing the keeper onto the swivel. Say so I just looped it in. And I'm going to take my pliers and just close the eye shut. Now that I have all the keepers on the dredge bar, I'm going to keep the bar collapsed because uh, again it makes it easier to rig. You know, it's easier when you're in your workshop or at home, but I'm out in a small center console drifting about here and in the wind and bouncing. It's just so much easier to work with keeping this collapsed. Well, a lot of anglers use shads or kicktail style baits for teasers on dredge bars. I far prefer the, you know, the original straight tailed hoagie soft baits. Uh, they have a longitudinal flex, which I feel is more natural in the water, A. And B, there's no tails to kick off. That's a challenge with a lot of the shads is when they're trolling all day, just the tails will kick themselves off. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the keeper in one hand and the soft bait in my other, and I'm going to twist the bait onto the keeper. That's bait number one. And it just takes a couple of minutes to do them all. Now this dark sand deal was a new one for us in 2012 and I think was our number two seller or number three seller in its first year. And uh, while we call it a dark sand deal, it mimics um, a lot of bait fish. It's got a dark top and a light color belly which is very common and it has a violet pearlescence in the belly and so it's a very natural color and when you see the underwater video you'll know why I chose this color it just has a very natural look to it now we're almost done we got three more to go and there you have it folks we have 12 teasers on this bar they're all attached with the XXL bait keepers. Uh, I've kept the bar collapsed for easy rigging. Now a lot of folks will put these behind a trolling sinker. Um, this one is a 32 ouncer. Some will go heavier. Some will connect multiple dredges but just for this demonstration purposes we're going to show you a little underwater video of what this dredge is actually going to look like. So for now I'm going to attach it to this. And now I'm ready to collapse the bar. Now this is an Offshore Innovations collapsible bar. And you can see how easy it is. Opened up. Very nice presentation. And you can see how these baits sort of have their own movement. As you can imagine, you know, shads just will sort of all kick. But these baits are having full movement in their bellies.